sweat dripping down the face or their eye twitching or the heartbeat. You know, funny situation was uh, one of my friends was uh, playing in a big final and uh, he asked me uh, if I thought the guy was bluffing and I says, uh, yeah, he is, call him. And the guy had four aces <laughs> and he had a pair of fours, so there goes my read. A bad judgment, he lost a lot of money. I don't think he's talking to me now. Can't be always right. It's a bit embarrassing, but first time I told it anybody. <laughs> um, I like to buy, you know, like, you know, watches and earrings and, you know, I'm, I'm more of a jewellery guy. And if I see something I like, I just buy it, you know, like. Oh, it's very hot. Oh, it's very hot. Uh, the World Heads Up Championship, uh, the poker event, if you get the title, it's a world championship, you know? You, you could win big tournaments with lots and lots of money. It's not about the money today, it's about winning the title. When you, when this money involved, people are always fascinated. And there's only three ways to get money. One, to work, work for money, steal money or win money. Then we're only three options, so you've got to try and win. You know, forget the other two options. Don't work, don't steal, win. <laughs> As well. Two systems. <laughs> I thought you had three paces. <sighs> Queen four suited for Simon. That much. <laughs> says, that much, he says. Count that out. Queen four of hearts. Makes the bet 9,000. King three. Slightly better hand for John, and uh, he says, OK. Can't have you mucking around in my pots. And that's exactly what he does. He calls, and we'll see the flop. Nine, five, and eight. Mixed oh, suits, no. diamonds, <laughs> spades, and hearts. Both players checking it. And turn card. It's the ace of clubs. No help to either hand, but Simon might say, yes, I'm uh, representing that ace. And that's what he does, and uh, picks up the pot. You can see how Simon's setting okay. his stall out here now, can't you? He's saying to John, well, OK, every time I've got a half playable hand, I'm going to... Pump, pump the pot up a little bit. I'm going to raise it. And, uh, I'm sports. going to bet it if necessary if you don't. So John's kind of sitting back to trap him and Simon's going to force the pace a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see how it pans out. I'm glad he never had three now. So then. Yeah. Trying to follow the, the commentary in the cool. gallery. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I'm Fox Bite also. I don't, know if I don't know what it is all about. It's like they, trying they, to follow a taxi cab in Barcelona <laughs> while you're blindfolded. Oh, There's El Blondie, Dave Colclough. <laughs> oh, dear. Three seven suited for John. He calls. And Simon with a King Deuce suited makes it 6,000, and John will call that. As you see from the percentages, a little less than a 60-40 shot. Five, Jack, nine. Simon bets 3,000. John stays in. And now a 10. So, and, and Simon bets, and John is not going to try to draw to an inside straight. He folds, and Simon wins the pot. And with that, moves slightly into the lead over John Faulkner. I'll take any bets, Dave, on John's hand. We can commentate from here. We can still have the bets going if, if it gets down to a showdown. In fact, <laughs> chip count even, but as you see when the blinds come out, <coughs> the small blind means. Yeah, I think Simon's got a 
a little bit, a <laughs> little bit more in his step. Simon's just having a bit of friendly banter with Dave, and uh, I think Dave's reply was, "I don't think I can stand this humdrum for six hours." <laughs> oh dear. I don't think they'll feel compelled to act just because Blondie's getting bored. No, no. I think the longer they keep him up there, the safer they are, to be honest. 8-4. Call. King-3. Check. Here comes the flop. Ace. 9 and 6. Two checks. Here's the turn. Simon bets 4,000. John Foltzon had to inside straight trouble, basically just betting the position and yeah, working again. He's going to carry on doing that now, isn't he? He sensed that John's going to sit back with the chips that he's uh, won off him, and he's a bit incensed that uh, John's made the calls, I think, in, in a way. Um, you know, they are friends, but obviously it's alligator blood, which means uh, your friend's off the table, but on the table you, you want to uh, win. You know, you've got to beat your opponent. Alligator so, uh, blood? Alligator blood, yeah. Do they have alligators in Burnley? No, I don't think they do. I think it's an American term. That's why, a colloquial American term. Oh, that's why I used it, Mike. That's a new one. I haven't heard that one. Yeah, I've heard yeah. crocodile tears, but not alligator, alligator blood. Alligator blood, yeah. Basically, it means that you'll do whatever within uh, reason to uh, win What's the match. Problem? Anything legal. And that's uh, exactly what he's trying to do. He's uh, Every time John's checking to him, he's betting uh, regardless, isn't he? In the right position. And that's the way to play the game, really. You're not always going to get the cards. They've uh, been in John's favour at the moment, but they won't always go like that. Call on the jack nine, king five suited. Simon checks this time. Yeah, he's on the big blind. He's not going to keep forcing the pace from out there, but every time he's in position, he will do. Here's the flop. There's the king. There's a the jack. Yeah, and there's uh, a few possibilities here, isn't there? Simon with the pair of kings and uh, John with the pair of jacks with the straight draw. Ace has come, an ace. ace of hearts. And now they've both got virtually the same straight draw because the queen obviously uh, makes the straight on the board higher than the uh, nine to the queen, which uh, nine to the king rather. Instead, it's a six. Simon bets 3,000. John calls him, and Simon shows the kings. Yeah. And so, like I was saying, when uh, when Simon's making the plays, if he does get called, and he knows he will get called now, he, he's looking to show the hand to John all the time. So uh, he'll keep forcing John along at this pace. He'll keep dictating the you pace know, to as him. As soon as you went out of here, Dave, there was a big, like, 30,000, 40,000 uh, pop. It, seriously, there was. Uh, so what we've decided is we're, we're going to play timid while you're here. And then when you get bored, we're going <laughs> to... John were about 30,000 up at one stage. Then he got unlucky. On one. I'd be battered and it paired up at the end. Yeah. Such is life. Yep. Deuce four. John checks. Yep, there's four of spades for John. Here's the flop. And there's a deuce, and there's an ace, and there's two spades. One spade. One spade, sorry. Yeah, one spade, hard. There's the ten. Simon bets, John calls. Yeah, see what's happening now. John's calling all of Simon's bets, which is not the right thing to do, because uh, you've got to give him credit sometime for having a hand. Okay, he says that's enough. Now and I believe John you. John falls that time, yep. And notice how Simon's not showing him any hands now. He's not showing him a single card. He says, you make the decision each time now. I want my chips back. Thank you very much. And that's what he's doing. He's dictating the pace of the game. And he's uh, this, this is this is in his favour if, if they play the game like this because, uh, you, like we've always said, you're not going to pick up hands all the time. And uh, if John's going to wait for cards, Simon's going to say to him, well, every time you check now, I'm going to bet. And uh, putting the John under his decision each time as to whether he's bluffing or not. And he's got it right for the uh, first part of the match, but he'll have to keep making, getting it right if he wants to beat Simon, I think. That's what it's going to come down to. 160,000 in chips. It's a long road, and consistency is needed. Yeah, Simon can keep this up as long as he needs to, and he'll, uh, he'll realise this. King Deuce for John. He calls. Simon checks. With a King Five. Here's the flop. 
Uh, pair of threes on the flop. And the nine with a three nine of spades. So three three nines a flop. 